ಪ್ರಾಣಸ್ಯೇದಂ ವಶೇ ಸರ್ವಿವೇಯತ್ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿ ಮಾತೇವುತ್ರನ್ ರಕ್ಷಸ್ವ ಶ್ರೀಶ್ಚ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಶ್ಚ ವಿಧೇಹಿ ನಯಿತಿ invocations to prana itself prana where is prana prana sedam vashe sarvam tridiveyat pratishthitam the prana the cosmic energy is everywhere in all the three worlds so we are just invoking you can call the energy as shi shakti or he it is neither or both right everywhere mateva putran rakshaswa like a mother protect her child protect me shrischa pratyamscha videhinaiti and give me shri shri means you know sampat aishwarya and pratyam wisdom the real knowledge so for that we are invoking the prana shakti which is everywhere right so with that bhava let us start the day so, namaste everyone last session we took a little bit of uh, body loosening then we practiced ujjayi pranayama so today also we will repeat the ujjayi pranayama that body loosening i hope you are doing on your own today we will not repeat that please do every day before meditation ideally even otherwise as soon as you get up better and before going to sleep like that because movement is needed another simple we will do movement now it take a minute shaking the body you know many ways we can shake simple all can do it whoever has got uh, some health issues they will say still moving the body say body should move mind should be still right this we have to remember always if you use it you will have strength use it or lose it body so always chair or uh, like a couch potato then nothing will happen right so the instrument is given the wonderful instrument upakarana by the creator so we have to make use of so the simple exercise what we can do all can do just sitting or standing preferably stand see i will give a test also now see how it can be those who are not bothered to check that's those who are doing regular yoga they will know right now raise your right hand and let your mind <clears throat> complete awareness be on the right hand when you are not doing anything but just raise your hand like this shoulder width not uh, holding down because arm pit should be open then just do loosening like this just shake whatever way possible just throw it let it be loose let go let go so it's a very simple one but you see now do it just let go no holding eyes closed is ideal okay now just stop it and keep your palms down or on your laps if you are sitting on the chair or floor just feel the difference can you feel between left and right the prana shakti is always there you are receiving the cosmic energy but we are not aware now you can feel now do the same thing with other hand left hand just allow you can rotate or whatever way it moves just let go that's all no holding so stiffness will go you may even get pain in the fingers it's possible let it go 
But if you don't use it, you have to lose it as well. That's all. Because of the small pain, we don't even start. Non-starters can reach nowhere, right? Something is better than nothing. Like that, we have to go, right? Right? Now see the difference. Closing the eyes, both the palms. You can feel the sensation. Pulsation also on the palms, right? See, prana, what is prana? You all know. It is when we are born, the vital life force is there, right? That's where we are alive. When that prana shakti, the vital life force enters and we come out, we have that. Once it goes, then the body becomes just a matter. So the body means nothing but matter, consisting of all the five elements. <laughs> now, the body, five elements means, you all know, Panchabhutas, Akasha, Vayu, Agni, Jala, Pridhivi. Every matter consists of that in different permutation combination. So we have this body, then we have the five senses, then mind. Now, how all these are active? See, we have vital life force. Jiva is there. But how it is running? We grow, right? From the tiny baby to what we are today. And daily activities happening. Our mind is thinking and body is working. We are seeing. We are tasting. We are listening. All how it is happening. Is your ear is just listening? Is your eye is just listening like a camera? It is only the external connection to the sensual world. But all how it is working. To understand this, I'll go back to the Upanishadic wisdom again, our ancient wisdom. See, in the earlier days, sages, they used to always question answer. Prashna Upanishad itself is there. So what Prashna Upanishad talks? Prashna means question. So there is no spoon feeding like what you are doing. Slight presentation, then again, not then email, everything is fed and just lying there somewhere, but we don't use it. No. Only a tip is given by the master, the sage. The students have to go through that practice, come back with questions, doubts. Everything is like that. Entire Upanishad is a dialogue. Even the stutis and many things we heard, everything is in the form of dialogue. She was Tuti is there. So, in the Prasna Upanishad, Bhargava, the disciple, Bhargava Muni, because they all have become Munis then. He is asking the master, Guruji, see, Holy Sir, how many several powers hold together this body? Which of them are most manifest in it? And which is the greatest? How many of you got the answer? Now the sage is answering. The powers are ether, air, fire, water, earth. This being the five elements which compose the body and besides their speech, mind, eye, ear and the rest of the sense organs as I just said. Once these powers made the boastful assertion, like a dialogue, just funny way explaining. All these powers assume that they are a person, right? Now they said, we hold the body together and support it. Like each element, each sense thing. We are the people behind all this. You are alive. Then the prana, the primal energy, of course, will have the last laugh. Supreme over them all told them, do not deceive yourselves. It is I alone, dividing myself fivefold, who hold together this body and support it. But they couldn't believe. This fivefold means what? Pancha prana. The same prana we are receiving from the cosmos, 
different success and it is five functions panja prana udana all upward movement apana downward movement like evacuating everything apana then prana is again the center then you have prana apana udana then samana digestive area then you have the vyana circulation so all these five pranas are doing all these functions five for same prana but different functions like that it is happening so prana to justify himself made as if he intended to leave this body so prana got up just visualize like that a person he got up and says i am going now okay then the rest realized that if he went they also would have to depart with him and as prana again seated himself the rest found their respective places so without prana nothing is going to work so the importance of prana as the bees go out when the queen be goes out and they also go out same way they return when the queen is coming honey bee you know how it is functioning just one queen thousands of bees will be there so like that is the importance of prana so then convinced of their error the powers now praised prana saying as fire prana burns as the sun he shines as cloud he rains as indra he rules the gods as wind he blows as the moon he nourishes all he is that which is visible and also that which is invisible he is immortal life see how beautifully explained in upanishad according to physiology of raja yoga a huge reserve of spiritual energy is situated at the base of the spine so we all talk about kundalini awakening then we talk about 72000 nadis then seven worlds seven bodies then seven chakras energy centers all so what is that we are doing everything everything is connected to the prana see the spiritual energy is posited at the bottom of the spine mula adhara chakra what you talk about there the sleeping serpent we say the sleeping beauty that is sleeping so it has to be awakened the coiled up energy so that is why it is also called as serpent power so when the kundalini is aroused it travels up the spine through six centers of consciousness the chakra means six centers of consciousness reaching the seventh the center of the brain as it reaches the higher centers it produces various degrees of enlightenment so where we are our energy at which center we are there so that is the prominent thing which will affect our existence the process is best explained in the words of ramakrishna paramahamsa i will just read out that also what he talked about see all this were taught but how many of us are really aware we just call it as just breathing exercise it is not so so divine once we know that conviction and practice little bit consciously living then you see the powers everything we have within ram krishna paramahamsa talks about the scriptures speak of seven centers of consciousness the mind may dwell in one of this other one or the other of the centers when the mind is attached to worldliness it dwells in the three lower centers which you know navel and the organ of reproduction then the organ of evacuation three bottom chakras it is animalistic living tamasic the mind then has no higher spiritual ambitions or visions it is immersed in the cravings of lust and greed that's all tamasic and rajasic no sati the fourth center is at the heart when the mind learns to dwell there man experiences his first spiritual awakening then he has the vision of light all around seeing this divine light he becomes filled with wonder 
and says, ah, how blissful. His mind does not then run to the lower centers. The fifth center is at the throne, Vishuddhi Chakra. He whose mind has reached this center is freed from ignorance and delusions. He does not enjoy hearing or talking of anything but God. You can call God, you can call whatever it is, but the divinity. So nothing else. Those who are dwelling here, so fraction of seconds or minutes, it can happen to many, but we should be dwelling there. That is the real spiritual growth. The sixth sender is at the forehead. We call as Ajna Chakra. When the mind reaches this sender, there is the direct vision of God. Day and night. Even then. So we talk about third eye opening. Don't go for mechanically and artificial way of doing. Quick opening. You will get stuck. I'll come back to that again. So don't go for shortcut. There is, even then, when you are raised here also, there is little trace of ego left in the aspirant. It is like a light in a lantern. One feels as if one could touch the light but cannot because of the obstructing pane of glass. So still it is covered. The seventh center is at the top of the head. When the mind reaches it, samadhi is attained. One becomes a knower of Brahman, united with Brahman. Upanishadic Pista. The knower here means it is not the information just by reading book, etc. Swadhyaya, no, it is much beyond. Knower means you are really knowing, experiencing that. So knower of big, Brahman becomes Brahman. That's the words in the words of Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. So how to go about it? The study of Raja Yoga should be very helpful in those whose minds have been warped by a conventional Puritan upbringing. The danger of Puritanism is that it inclines us to re regard certain functions and powers of the body as evil and other functions are powers, functions and powers as good without seeing any relation between the two groups. So it should not be like that. We should really understand what is Raja Yoga, Padanchali, Ashtanga Yoga is all aspects we have to see. Yama, Nema, Asana, Pranayama, then Pratyahara practicing, then Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. Raja Yoga reminds us that the mind body has only one life force. This force expresses itself in different ways at different levels of consciousness. It may impel a man to paint a picture, run a race, have sexual intercourse, or say his prayers. Everything is happening, one or the other, but everything because of the prana shakti within us. The same prana. See, different. So just breathing practice cannot change all these things. Consciousness is the key behind it. Prana itself is with that. So here, for example, those who have studied psychology and earlier, you know, Sigmund Freud, he was talking about earlier, the first person, psychology. He has written and mostly misunderstood the earlier days of psychology, medical science, they were talking about. Freud said what he was telling. Freud said, Sigmund Freud, F-R-E-U-D. Religion is nothing but repressed sex, this is what he said. So this is a foolish way of telling. Later on, of course, other people understood. But suppose for this, what is the answer? If Padanjali was there, what he will say? He will laugh about the stupidity. He will say sex, he would have retorted, is nothing but potential religion. Use the same energy for a higher purpose and you will obtain enlightenment. Yes, this sexual energy, the bioenergy is posited in Muladhara Chakra. Once it is aroused properly, that ojas goes up along the spine, the Sushumna Nadi, Ida, Pingala, Sushumna, Chandra Nadi, Surya Nadi and fire along, Sushumna along the spine. So the ojas becomes tejas, the bioenergy becomes spiritual energy. 
by yoga practices. So for that, pranayama is the key. The nerve currents along the spine, though we say navel, etc., it is not here. Along the spine, it is not a physical level. It is subtle energy channels, Ida Pingala and Sushumna. So for the unspiritual person, those who are indulging always, the Sushumna will never open. Always, only the basic three chakras, navel, heart, and navel and below, like that. So if you are using only those senders, your consciousness is there, the Sushumna will never open up. So now we are here, we are in the spiritual path, for us we can awaken that. And that's why the energy senders are also called as lotuses. For example, we have four petals in the Muladhara Chakra. Then we have six in the Swadhisthana, then 10 in the Manipura, then we have 12 in the Heart Chakra, then we have uh, 16 here, then two here. And these are the letters also, Sanskrit letters actually. And this is beyond. So we have to open up. See what uh, Swami Vivekananda talks about. <clears throat> By the power of long internal meditation, the vast mass of energy stored up travels along the Sushumna and strike the senders. The reaction is tremendous immensely superior to the reaction of dream or imagination. Immensely more intense than the reaction of sense perception. Wherever there was any manifestation of what is ordinarily called supernatural power or wisdom, there a little current of Kundalini must have found its way into Sushumna. See, people talk about you know, achieving so many things, little, little, metaphysical, we talk about so all the, nothing but our Kundalini Shakti posited in us. Slightly the current is flowing, but not fully. Only in the vast majority of such cases, people had ignorantly stumbled on some practice which set free a minute portion of the coiled up Kundalini. All worship consciously or unconsciously leads to this end only. The man who thinks that he is receiving response to his prayers does not know. Remember this. The man who thinks that he is receiving a response to his prayers, whether Baba, Sai Baba, or Raghavendra, or Rama, Krishna, whatever it is, does not know that the fulfillment comes from his own nature. That he has succeeded by the mental attitude of prayer in waking up a bit of this infinite power which is coiled up within himself. So whatever we are achieving is our internal already there. What does man ignorantly worships under various names through fear and tribulation? Like God-fearing people we talk about, you know. The yogi declares to the world to be the real power coiled up in every being, the mother of eternal happiness. If we but know how to approach her, that's all. We have to learn that. Pranayama, Dhyana. And yoga is the science of religion. The rationale of all worship, all prayers, forms, ceremonies and miracles. So the object of pranayama is to rouse the kundalini and thereby control the prana, the vital energy. Then it manifests primarily in the function of breathing. So breathing is the link for us between body and mind. So controlling the breath, we can control the prana. So it is not just a breathing exercise. We should have that total conviction. And as I said the other day also, pranayama is, there are inhalation, holding, exhalation. Inhalation is called puraka. Exhalation is called rechaka. Then holding is called kumbhaka. And after exhaling, holding is called shunyaka, emptying. Or you call it as Bhakya Kumbhaka, like that. So in real pranayama, what Patanjali talked about is holding of breath is the key, how long you can hold. And those who can, say after exhalation, for example, said about 25 seconds if you can hold after exhaling empty. 
then you are in a better position those who are much less than that they have to practice this day by day not na hatat na bala slowly slowly we have to practice only inhale and hold exhale and hold. so suddenly you should not be done and if you have a guide regular yoga practice well and good otherwise gradually we have to practice the longer the better so a healthy person should have at least 30 40 seconds you should be able to hold after exhale shunyaka then it will be wonderful <coughs> otherwise if you go for artificial or uh, uh, quick uh, opening of third eye kundalini power and all that you may become even mad there is a possibility so we have to be very very cautious that's why the swami from ramakrishna ashram prabhavananda says no one should practice them under any circumstances unless he is leading an absolutely chaste life devoted entirely to the search for god otherwise they may easily lead to mental disturbances of the most dangerous kind those who encourage others to adopt such practices out of curiosity or vanity can only be described as criminals so don't fall into the trap shortcuts and all that like tantras unless really the higher purpose is there not for the short like today beer yoga sex yoga all the yoga word is added foolishly so we have to be very careful so the fourth kind of pranayama what patanjali is talking about vahya abhyantara vishaya chobi chaturtaha fourth year means one inhalation second exhalation third holding normal way this is all controlled right the fourth kind vahya abhyantara vishaya chobi chaturtaha that is holding after inhalation or exhalation in between automatically you are not holding it happens automatic cessation of breath should happen see in samadhi they may not even breathe breath would have stopped they are alive prana is there but you are not taking or giving connecting the prana from all the five elements prana is there we are taking it we are giving out exchange of gas what you talk about beyond that gas is such so we are receiving prana shakti so in samadhi for hours or days like ramakrishna paramahamsa swami vivekananda all nothing still everything body is still mind is still prati is also so it can be after exhalation or or half way also that any place or time it can be it can be held in anywhere in the centers it can happen in somebody so at least we should practice little by little and prana pranayama practice will take us to the right paths and our growth we can feel that in day to day life so mastery of the body mastery of the mind mastery of emotions can happen by yoga practices as i said earlier not just sitting and closing the eyes body should be moved then pranayama should be practiced then sit for meditation and you can also use mudras mudras i told you earlier days you know you can use many mudras are there with the different uh, results so in the ujjayi pranayama the other day i said i did not tell you about holding or mudras i gave you the freedom whichever you want so the ujjayi also can be practiced with the holding that is advanced level which i am not going to tell here much but in the kriyas and all that sudarshan kriya so many other kriyas is nothing but different practices of pranayama with holding and all that certain counts certain time duration like that so simple ways we will do it today same pranayama or the ujjayi pranayama we will do again today see when you do pranayama some of you would have heard the vagus nerve the very important nerve we have the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system the parasympathetic nervous system only we have to activate vagus nerve is the ma- major one cranial nerve connected 
most of the organs are connected by the vagus nerve so by pranayama and meditation you activate your right brain parasympathetic nervous system that is why all your illness will vanish when that is there calmness stress tension with about calmness you get it automatically by it so by pranayama and meditation it can be activated another day we can discuss more about that so <clears throat> ujjayi pranayama different way we will do today simple and the breathing should be light slow deep lsd you know you would have heard lsd in different meaning light it should be light it should be slow it should be deep no force no fast like that then you can see long light slow deep breathing always practice in every pranayama other than kapalabhati or this bhastrika that is a different it is a kriya <coughs> we will do that uh, sectional breathing i taught in the pranayama earlier i posted in the last uh, session just before that about pranayama one session last year i took that i have posted if you have gone through well and good there all more or less the minimum pranayama i have explained that if you have not gone through please go through and uh, sectional breathing is one of that when you do sectional breathing you can use this ujjayi sound ujjayi those who are joined today new it is hissing sound ocean breath or victorious breath they call ujjayi jai ho okay so that sound you know you are breathing it touches the glottis the peripheral of the windpipe as you exhale and as you inhale also so it elongates takes it takes a curl in the throat pitch so that sound but sound will not come so much only you can hear making sound is not the thing you should feel that okay for your uh, uh, understanding i am making so much sound we are breathing through nose but touching the throat so throat breathing it is not mouth breathing right mouth is closed clear right good so first ujjayi pranayama three types sectional breathing we will do and then the full yogic breathing all the three together so with ujjayi like that you can do then we will go for alternative nostril breathing that is nadi shodhana or nadi shuddhi and uh, here when you hold it is called as nadi shodhana or nadi shuddhi pranayama how long you are holding is again a trainer should be there then you can hold longer otherwise minimum what what i would say is without holding but if you are comfortable hold comfortable level inhale hold exhale hold whatever comfortable level not forcing you should be smiling inside and enjoy relaxed way we should do it so when you are exhaling you are actually you should feel that's why conscious breathing is the key for everything you should feel that you are expelling all the impurities of the body so total body mind consciousness should be here then you see the difference like that then the mudra is concerned now itself i am telling when after doing this nadi shodhana sit in meditation and today you can use this vyana mudra which i have told vyana mudra is the index finger touching the thumb and also the middle finger and the little and ring finger is open you can keep it like this on your laps of course as i said all, earlier also sitting on the floor on a carpet folded is always better 
don't sit in chair if you can sit down for all pranayama and pranayama can be done in vajrasana wonderful those who can right otherwise even in ardha siddhasana or sukhasana padmasana those who can wonderful right so this mudra also in dhyana you can use this has got so much of benefit again uh, i'll just read out so much benefits are there i cannot tell you i may forget <laughs> so much so much is there this i have given to some people earlier <clears throat> vyana mudra okay you should practice 15 minutes minimum other time when you are doing in meditation you can do other time also you can practice vyana mudra even one hand is okay but both hands is always better so 15 to 45 minutes you can sit if you cannot sit continuously you 15 minutes like that two three times a day you do it see the speed of the air circulation of vyana vayu is regulated vyana is a circulation so blood circulation all happen because of the one of the panja pranas so blood pressure either high or low is regulated and balanced lack of initiative enthusiasm slowness of thoughts and perception is corrected with vyana mudra drowsiness excessive sleep is overcome intolerance to heat sun stroke can be averted excessive sweating thirst urination loose motions and menorrhagia you know the menstrual problems can be overcome so this is such a wonderful thing so you can use this any time and meditation and therapeutic mudras are concerned any mudra you are practicing the end mudra should be prana mudra that is this two is vyana mudra right now change to the other two little finger and ring finger touching the thumb thumb is five this is because five elements are balanced this is the icing of on the cake we talk about final dessert always do this and any time you can do this even people in coma you can touch their three fingers and put a rubber band or a small cloth tie it up there is a possibility of becoming conscious it has happened that's why i am telling and prana mudra benefits are enormous chronic fatigue general debility low endurance impaired immunity mental tension anger irritability jealousy pride restlessness everything will go inflammatory disorders forgetfulness scanty burning urination burning red dry eyes this is very good for eyes cataract people those who are not got or getting you can practice you can avoid surgery dry red hot aging skin skin rashes urticaria leprosy and any ailments of as i said eyes you know is good and element of earth water and fire are joined so this helps remove the obstacles present in blood vessels resulting in improved blood circulation this mudra removes impurities present in the blood and stimulates joy energy delight zeal hope perseverance all negativity will go positivity will come have trust in yourself you are the doctor all the doctors are within as i said the other day okay the invisible doctors invoke them prana mudra helps improve any kind of deficiency of vitamins we talk about people say oh vegetarians will not get so many vitamins you will not get b12 a b c d like that for information vitamin a b c d e c and k all provided by just prana mudra because who who is producing all this the proteins and all that your own body your liver and your cells it is not what you take that is just like matchstick that's all fire is within you that's all any types of cramps in muscles or veins and pain in the legs are cured during fast this mudra can help control hunger and thirst so when you are fasting you find it difficult just be in prana mudra while walking while talking you can still use this stop talking is better talk when needed is better but even then do don't have to release this you can keep like this insomnia it is like a friend in need <laughs> right a friend in need is a friend in need we say right 
This is my friend indeed. Okay. Insomnia. And when you have insomnia, of course, you have to use jnana mudra. And so, as I said, many other mudras you can practice for different purpose should be followed by ending with prana mudra. Okay. Even numbness in any part of the body can be cured by prana mudra. Right. So, let us go for practice. Sit comfortably. <coughs> Now, take a deep breath, LSD, light, low, deep. When I said take, you have to leave also, it is implied, inhaling and exhalation is one breath. And one more instruction is, when I say go for Nadi Shodhana, it is not Aniloma Viloma. Aniloma Viloma is simple inhalation immediately or exhale. No holding. That is only difference, right? And when you inhale and hold your comfortable level, few seconds, at that time, chant mentally, Om, because Om itself is Brahman. Asya Vajaka Pranavaha. Those who attended Patanjali Yoga Sutra, my session, remember Asya Vajaka Pranavaha. Om itself is Brahman. Remember Om. Mentally chant, Manasika Japa. And Tad Artha Bhavana. Tad Jabaha, Tad Artha Bhavana. When you chant Om, should know the meaning. That's why I repeat again and again. Om is not just a sound. Om. When you say, remember. That's why the we worship God photo, Guru's photo and all that. You need something, some. It is for the time being. Through that, going to the unknown, through the So the simplest without any uh, religion or anything is home. Simple, right? Which is there everywhere. Sarva Vyapi. So this is the only new instruction. When you inhale and hold, when you exhale and the holding time, mentally, not once, oh. Then exhale or inhale, right? Now we will do, you can keep the eyes open for the time being. This practice, the Ujjayi today we are doing in a different way. Okay. Like a Kriya. Now you know, sectional breathing, those who have seen my video or those who attended earlier, you know. Abdominal breathing or it is called diaphragmatic breathing. That's the best for health. So, abdomen expands when you inhale, abdomen contracts when you exhale. Right. Then, thoracic breathing. Madhyama. This is adhama, then madhyama. Thoracic breathing. When you inhale, your chest expands. When you exhale, chest contracts. Madhyama. Then, uttama. Clavicular. Shoulder breathing. When you inhale, abdomen expands. Sorry, shoulder Open some, expand. So for this, you have to. So I will show one by one. Now on the navel region, you have to. You can stand and do, or sitting is ideal, of course. Sit comfortably in Vajrasana or Sudhasana. On your navel area, you are keeping like this on your waist, exactly navel line. So, keeping like this, when you exhale, abdomen goes in, so fingers come closer. When you inhale, abdomen expands, so fingers go away later, right? So, like this, you are with Ujjayi, inhaling and inhaling, <coughs> exhaling, inhaling and exhaling. Like this, let us do five rounds, five cycles. After that, we will go for clavicular, thoracic. Thoracic, you have to keep the thumb in the armpits. So, shoulder, see, hand should be parallel to the ground, like this, Lavaki. So, keeping. Here also, you have an energy center, the armpits. So, keeping like this, predominantly, when you inhale, chest expands. Not like this, it should be like this, okay? When you exhale, fingers come closer or it may touch, depends. 
or cannot touch you don't have to force to touch keep comfortably like this relax like this five cycles then the shoulder breathing uttama or jesta pranayam you have to raise your hands palms facing outward then turn the palm like this then keep your palms on your back so this is upper jesta pranayama your biceps impossible should touch the ear or it should be closer otherwise it will be like this no it should it's not enough you should be able to stretch first both the hands you stretch straight then keep the palm like this then biceps bring it as close as possible then inhale your movement you cannot feel much you can only feel you cannot see may not happen much so inhaling shoulder expand collapses when you exhale with ujjayi sound of course like that so 5 5 5 we will go right so now you can close your eyes i have shown what you are doing comfortably relaxed way take a deep breath once again while exhaling feel you are expelling all the impurities okay with ujjayi now you are doing sectional breathing vibhaga pranayama with ujjayi so place your hands on your waist line Closing the eyes comfortably, inhaling to J. You can even one, two, three, four count inhale and one, two, three, four count exhale and one, two, three, four holding the next and again hold like that if you are comfortable. Three, four counts each. Completed five rounds. Just place your palms open on your thighs. Relax for a while. Feel the effect of the practice. Just observe inside. Now we'll go for the Madhyama. Thoracic breathing. Madhyama Pranayama. placing the thumb under the arm pit inhale 2 3 4 4 2 3 4 exhale 2 3 4 5 6 hold 1 2 inhale Hold. Exhale. Repeat. At your own convenience.
the completed five cycles place the palm on your thighs just relax for a moment feel the effect of the practice you can do for longer time also more number of times other time why to 10 times this all can practice nothing to worry only holding you have to be cautiously doing it so now uttam jesta pranayama stretch up turn the palm as it on your back biceps almost touching the ears inhale hold exhale same thing So completed five cycles. Keep the palm on your thighs and relax. Eyes continue to be closed. Relax. Now use Yana Mudra or just. place the palms open like this on your laps now all the three together same ujjayi pranayama when you exhale abdomen goes in chest contracts shoulder collapses when you inhale same order first abdomen expands chest expands shoulder expands like that this is full yogic breathing this is what you are supposed to do so normal breathing that's why it's called full yogic breathing purna right so consciously we'll do three cycles now lack of time okay. first exhale abdomen goes in chest contract shoulder collapses with ujjayi of course then inhale slowly abdomen fast Hold. Exhale. Abdomen goes in. Chest contracts. Shoulder collapses. We don't move the body. Only slightly expansion, contraction happens. Spine should be straight. Samagriva Shirokaya. Repeat with Ujjayi sound. <laughs> Three to five cycles.
Because you have completed, just relax, placing the palms open on your laps. Now, we will go for Nadi Shodhana or Anuloma Viloma Puraka Kumbhaka Vithom Rejaka Shunyaka. So, using Nasika Mudra or like this, whichever comfortable for you. Once you fold your index and middle finger, it's called Nasika Mudra, thumb for closing the right, and little finger and ring finger, or one for closing and opening your left nostril. Don't use your left hand because right hand has got its own right hand. When you use your parasympathetic nervous system is activated, remember, okay? there are certain things, certain things are there, right? So, here, start with exhalation through Chandra Nadi. First, left. This female, this is male energy, sympathetic, parasympathetic, right? So, start with exhalation. No Ujjayi now, only LST. Light, simple, deep. And inhale slowly now. Close both the nostrils and mentally chart Oh. Close your left nostril, open the right nostril and exhale. You can chant home there also, no problem if you can. Then inhale there itself, right? Close. Open the left nostril. It is one cycle. Continue for some time, as long as you are comfortable. No numbers. Total awareness. Consciously. Uraka. Om. Rejaka. Om. Left hand can be mudra, yana,
total awareness consciously with japa stop and whenever you feel like then simply be with yourself just be aware let the breathing happen just be a witness now sat shivava witness consciousness for anyone if the mind is drifting gently bring back to any one remind yourself with om and do jab tat jab tadart bhavana
masters slowly slowly start coming back you may take a long breath become aware of the place where you are your body bring your awareness to your heart center may we offer our gratitude to everyone and everything that we have thanks to universe thanks to our biological parents our spiritual parents everyone with whom we are interacting every day who are helping in our souls pursuits the life journey thank you thank you thank you with an attitude of gratitude let us come back to this existential reality I'll count 1 to 5 and the count of 5 you can open your eyes in the meanwhile you may place your palms on your eyes gently 1 2 3 at the count of 5 you may open your eyes feeling fine and in wonderful and in perfect health feeling better than before 4 5 you can open your eyes feeling wonderful in perfect health in all respects and of course feeling better than before right thank you thank you all for giving this group energy wonderful day